Hi, I am Katrina Myers, a project engineer at Engineers Without Borders USA. This is an overview of the improvements we have planned this summer for the International Community Programs project process. I will focus on our move to PAWS, an online cloud-based platform. The goals of EWB USA's robust project process are listed here. We require our project teams to submit detailed design, construction, partnership, and travel documents, which are reviewed by the project engineers at headquarters. Last summer, we gathered feedback from members and took a deeper look at how we can improve and streamline our project process to better meet these goals. We established an ad hoc committee that developed recommendations on how we could improve our processes, which led to the development of PAWS. The main goal of PAWS is to streamline the project process and eliminate Word, document, and PDF forms. We also want to make information more accessible and shareable among chapters. We want to streamline the technical review with EWB USA staff. And finally, we want better project data so we can summarize and quantify our organization-wide impact. PAWS will replace our current project process. The scope of that process includes over 1,000 chapter submittals per year, including 76 templates and forms. PAWS will unify our technical reports with travel administration, health and safety planning, as well as PMEL, or Planning, Monitoring, Evaluation, and Learning. We will no longer have monthly report deadlines, and timelines will be based on the chapter's travel dates. Finally, review comments from EWB USA project engineers and staff, as well as technical advisory committee members, or TAC, will go directly into PAWS. PAWS is a flexible cloud-based platform within Salesforce. It includes online forms and uploads. Online forms can be cloned in the system, so chapters will not have to retype repetitive administrative information. PAWS will be accessible to chapters through individual logins. Chapter officers and project leads will be given edit access to their chapter's programs. Additional chapter volunteers will be invited to create logins of their own and can request access to PAWS. These members will have read-only access to the system unless chapter officers or project leads manually share edit access to specific records. Moving from a paper process into PAWS changes the structure of our data. It now includes programs, which could encompass multiple community partnerships. Each community partnership includes projects. Projects progress through phases with technical plans and reports. The technical plans and reports will focus solely on technical plans before the trip and a report after the trip. All administrative information, including overview project information, travel safety plans, contacts, and travelers, as well as PMEL, will be moved online to forms in trip tasks. A trip can easily span multiple projects, community partners, and project phases because the technical plans will be separate from the administrative trip information. PAWS will benefit many users and enhance our processes. Our community partners will have the option to submit their community program applications and address questions and comments directly in PAWS. However, we will still have a PDF form available to communities who cannot access the internet. Chapters will apply to adopt programs, to establish new projects, and new community partnerships directly in PAWS. Chapters will plan their trips, upload their technical plans and reports, as well as complete all of their administrative information in online forms. Submittal deadlines will be personalized the, to the chapter's schedule and not based off of the monthly deadlines we have now. Project engineers will enter technical comments and chapters will be notified of those comments and enter their responses directly within PAWS. Chapters can collaborate and share information and can provide feedback about the project process, which will be tracked and reviewed by staff to help us continually improve. PAWS will allow us to facilitate a more flexible and personalized technical advisory committee or TAC review. 
We will assign two to three individual reviewers to each program at draft final design phase. The new reviewers will be called the International Community Programs or ICP Gurus. The ICP Guru team can either provide written comments or set up individual conference calls with the chapters to address their concerns. Here is an overview of the workflow of tasks in PAUSE. The first three items are Program Community Partnership and Project Initiation and Closure, which will only occur at key points in the program. The final four steps are cyclical and where most of the project work will occur. Starting at the top, the chapter would search for an unassigned program and select it to apply to adopt. This would replace the open programs list on our website. From there, you can complete the chapter program adoption and work with the project engineer to review and approve. Once approved, your chapter can create its first project based off of the needs expressed in the community program application and community letter. At this point, your chapter is ready to create your first trip. There are two separate approval processes associated with the trip. The trip approval, which includes all trip administrative work, and the technical plan approval, which includes the technical plan for the trip. The technical plan is due first, either eight weeks in advance of travel for assessment or monitoring and evaluation plans, or 16 weeks for implementation plans. Once the technical plan is approved, the chapter could submit the trip for approval. The trip is due at least three weeks prior to travel. For each travel team, you go back to the same trip and same technical plan records to input your post-trip information. One of the biggest changes about PAUSE is that chapters will have access to each other's work. With this change, we want to alert chapters that most items in PAUSE are open to all chapters. Be aware that not only technical plans and reports, but also program, community partnership, project, trip, and trip task records will be open to other chapters once they have been approved. Also, comment response with the project engineer will be visible directly on the record being reviewed. There are a couple of places for private uploads and personal contact information will be hidden. This is a screenshot of the PAUSE interface. The first tab we will talk about is the Programs tab. Click the Program tab and there are several views. My Programs, which is the hub for all of your chapter's program activities. Unassigned Programs, where you can view unassigned programs and apply to adopt them. And Active Programs, this is where you can view any active programs within EWB USA. If you click on one of your chapter's program records, this is the view you'll see. At the top of the screen, there's program details. That's the information that's directly on the program record. And under that, there are gray boxes, which are related lists or other records that are associated with that program. This will be the hub for all of your chapter's activity up until you're working on trips. Starting at the top, there's the chapter program adoptions. If a program is unassigned, this is where your chapter would click to apply for that program. Under that, there are community partnerships. This is where your chapter could add a, an additional community partnership or cancel or complete a community partnership within your program. Then there are projects. This is where you would create new projects under an existing program and community partnership. And then finally, a trip. That's where you could start the process of creating a trip. Now moving over to the trip tab. This is the hub for all of your activities of the second half of the workflow. So this is where you'll go once you're working on trips and technical plans. After your program, community partnership, and projects are all in place and approved. This is the hub for your pre-trip preparation as well as your technical pre-trip plans and your post-trip reports, project expense reports, and any other details associated with the trip. If your chapter clicks into one of your trip records, this is what you'll see. You can see there's detailed trip information and security information, followed by the listing of pre-trip tasks and post-trip tasks 
and their due dates based off of the departure date. If you scroll down on a trip record and look at the bottom of the record, you'll see the related list trip tasks, trip contacts, private uploads, and approval history. There's also the technical plans and reports. This is a separate approval process and timeline, which is due either 8 or 16 weeks prior to departure and has a separate approval process. So this is where you'll work on all of your designs or technical work leading up to the trip as well as after the trip. PAUSE is built in Salesforce and uses the standard view of that system, meaning that regardless of what record you're on, the editing functionality will be the same. On the top right of the screen, you see a screenshot of editing view. This is where you click edit on a record and it pops up with this gray screen and allows you to edit all of the fields in that record at once and then you have to save in order to get out of that view. Once you save, you're in line edit view. The advantage to this view is it includes the related lists, but it's easy to accidentally not save your work. In this view, you can double click on any field and make edits and those edits will come in as red text. You must save in order to make sure that those edits are saved before you click on anything else or you'll lose those edits. There's also, on, on all records, there's a clone button, which is basically save as. This will allow chapters to avoid double work and retyping. They can simply find an old record and clone it in order to make edits instead of recreating that record from scratch. Chatter is the social hub in pause. Chapters will receive comments from their project engineers, from ICP gurus, in Chatter directly on the records associated with those comments. Individuals can chatter in groups, to their followers, or on specific records. You can tag users to allow something to show up on their feed and notify them of a comment over email with the at symbol. Pause will go live in early August, at which point all chapters will work on their projects within pause. If your program or project is ongoing, don't worry. We'll be pre-populating pause with your project information. The transition will be smooth regardless of what phase your program is in. Click the link here to learn more about the system or contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.